We've received quite a bit of interest in my free to be workshop. So to that effect, beneath this video is a link that will give you a description for the workshop. And we've also included a special discount. So if that's something you would be interested in, I would invite you to click that link and I hope that you would find the course to be quite beneficial. I want to talk with you today about a pattern that's very common inside the world of narcissism, and that's the pattern of authoritarianism. Now, as soon as I use that word, I know there are plenty of you who are already nodding your head saying, thinking, oh yeah, I can relate to that. I mean, there are individuals who think that it's their appointed duty to tell anybody and everybody how things are supposed to be. All narcissists have this craving to be in control and they have this entitlement but the authoritarian person just almost take, takes it to a, a, a different level of dysfunction, if we could even think about that. Uh, when we refer to an authoritarian individual, we're, we're talking about someone who demands strict obedience uh, at the cost of personal freedom, okay? And uh, when these individuals engage with you, notice I use that word engage, not relate. When these people engage with you, they have the thought that, uh, that says, who in this equation is going to be dominant? Who in this equation is going to be subordinate? And you can pretty much guess what the answers to those uh, questions are. Or they, they, they break people down in one of two groups. Those who have power, those who do not have power. And so many times uh, you find yourself uh, being relegated to that position that says, well, you're the subordinate one. You're the one who doesn't have power. Make sure you remember that. Now, uh, more often than not, uh, the authoritarian narcissists tend to be male, although I've known some females who would fall into this category as well, where there's just this, uh, this strong sense of, of over, being overbearing and nobody can uh, get through to them at all. Uh, but I want to run through uh, quite a number of, of uh, indicators that people uh, have this authoritarian style and then I want to see if we can expose what's going on behind the scenes. When we have people who are strongly authoritarian, one of the first identifiers is these are individuals who are quite willing to use humiliation to, uh, to motivate other individuals. They don't mind at all letting you know uh, that if, if you don't do things the, the way they want, they're going to make life miserable for you. And they're going to uh, try to uh, go in and ruin your character if that's what they have to do. They're, they're not above something like that. These individuals also admire other powerful people. <laughs> in their mind, it's like, ooh, that's somebody that's got things figured out. I need, I need to take some notes from them. Uh, they're, they're drawn towards themes of power and people and uh, positions of power. These individuals actively seek out uh, people that they would consider weak. Now, when, when I say weak, <laughs> I don't mean they're weak. That they, they think that they're weak. For example, if you're someone who's tender or gentle or easygoing, then it's like, oh, now I can step all over that individual. And certainly they have an especial, a special affinity for appeasers and enablers and, and people pleasers, those who are conflict averse. Uh, they'll, they'll go out for that after them in, in a heartbeat. Additionally, uh, these authoritarian kind of people, uh, they, they uh, make a, a minimal use of analytical thinking. They're very simplistic in the way that they approach life circumstances. Uh, they use what I call imperative thinking, a heavy use of that. They can be very rigid in their thinking. They make little or no room for nuance. It's like, this is the way it is, and I'm not going to receive any kind of uh, input. You know how that is, because I'm sure that there are times when it's like, well, let's talk about this. And their response is, we've already discussed it, and meaning I declared, okay? Or in addition, these are individuals who try to exercise stiff, emotional restraint. It's like, don't get me into that uh, touchy feeling kind of stuff. And they, they don't like life on the soft end of the, uh, the spectrum, compassion and tenderness. And yet it's not as though they're without emotion, but unfortunately the emotion that they tend to, to illustrate is anger. Uh, they can, uh, they can, uh, the anger can always just be right below the surface. 
And many times it's blustery, abusive anger. Other times it's more of that quiet variety of contempt and stonewalling, but nonetheless, there it is. And, and you don't have to uh, do much to bring it out. These authoritarian people uh, are absolute takers. It's like, what are you going to do for me next? Okay, after that, now what are you going to do? And they don't have a, a mindset that says, I'd like to give. I'd like to contribute to your well-being. They demand uh, blind obedience. They demand blind loyalty. And uh, in addition to that, they can create a culture of fear and mistrust. Uh, they're very uncomfortable with people who are other. Now, we can break that down. Uh, people who have a different ethnicity, a different religious persuasion, uh, a different pr uh, political beliefs or views, or just simple preferences. I mean, I I've seen some of these authoritarian people, like, let's say in sports and things like that. Uh, it's like kill the umpire and, and crush them. And they don't, they don't like anybody that doesn't like their team. I mean, uh, whatever it is, they don't like the, pe the person who is other. Uh, in addition, they tend to be drawn or driven by cynicism and distrust of other individuals. Uh, they can honestly believe that they're distinctly unique. I mean, to the point of anointed. Well, the reason you need me to tell you is because I'm quite different. I see life really differently. Of course, I'm thinking you really do, but I don't think that in the same way that they think that about themselves. Now, I want you to, to see these kinds of indicators. And then as you do, I want you to look behind the scenes and recognize that people who use this authoritarian style of engagement reveal very, and when I say very, I mean very deep and unresolved fear and insecurity. Now, there's absolutely no way that they would agree with me on that. It's like, I don't fear anybody. Yeah, they do. It's like they've already decided a long time ago, if I let other individuals decide for themselves who they're going to be, I'm going to be left behind. You might ignore me. You might object, uh, reject me. And they fear being irrelevant. And that's huge to them. One of the things that you can do that's, uh, that's going to just set them off is to let them know, I don't see you as being relevant in my world. <laughs> and they can't stand that. They're that insecure. So in the midst of all this bravado uh, and their unbending certainty is a grossly underdeveloped personality. And that's very important for you to recognize. Uh, they want to set themselves up as the one who is enlightened when in fact you're not enlightened at all. You're deluded. And, and uh, it helps you, not in a critical way, but it just helps you in an insightful way to recognize this is a person who's putting their delusions onto me. They're projecting many of their uh, uh, internal and unresolved psychic conflicts onto me, and I can't afford to get suckered into that. Now, th there are some essential questions that I would love to be able to ask that authoritarian person. Uh, you, probably you don't want to waste your breath on it, so I'm not suggesting this is what you need to say to them. But if you could, if somehow or another you could bring them around, I'd like to just ask questions like, where does free will come in? Do you have any appreciation whatsoever for the fact that people have a right to choose for themselves? They don't want to be asked that kind of question. Or another question is, why is diversity so threatening or scary to you? How did you learn to uh, to draw the conclusion that if somebody is not the same as you, that's a bad thing? Why, is that, why does that scare you? Or another question I wish that I could ask them is, do you? Uh, why do you so readily minimize the tender side of life? You know, compassion, love, dignity, honor. Why do you minimize that? Uh, what, what is it about that that you, you just overlook? Do you not see the validity of those kind of characteristics? And they'll just roll their eyes and say, you know, <laughs> get out of here. They, they can't go to that space. Or uh, another question that you might wish to ask is, uh, who says that differentness has to be labeled? You know, right, wrong, good, bad. What if we just were to say differentness means you're not the same as? And let's leave it at that. Maybe we can learn from each other. 
like, no, nah, I don't think that way. Or how about another question? And they're not going to be able to answer this, but um, will anyone ever be good enough for you? Of course, you know and I know, not really. Or do you really think that other people simply exist to serve you? Is that is that what it's all about? Or do you understand how you have these impossible idealisms uh, that you wish for uh, that will actually simply guarantee failure? See, when you break down this, this authoritarian approach toward life, it, it doesn't stand up well at all. And it reveals that these are individuals who simply don't get it. Uh, now, they have to be the ones that, uh, that gravitate towards uh, the, the in charge kind of position so they can wield a lot of influence. But it's important for you to realize I am not about to take my cues from someone who is that under development. You know, in the end, uh, with their life, they're going to wind up alone because they can run so many people off and so many people, if they do stay with them, they stay out of uh, obligation. It's not uh, affinity. Uh, and so it's like, okay, that's, that's the way you live your life. That's what you're known for. If you're with somebody who has that strong authoritarianism, uh, absolutely, I'm hoping that you can determine, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize my preferences or my beliefs or my plans or my feelings. And if they don't like it, that's on them. I, I need to be me. And you, you absolutely don't have to apologize for being who you are. And I'm hoping that as you see these individuals as bankrupt in, when it comes to relationship skills, that you'll position yourself to be with under, uh, other individuals who know how to draw the things that are good and best and tender and right uh, about you. And in doing so, that you can find a, a much better way of living. These individuals just don't do relationships well at all. And they tend to be re beyond redemption because... They don't receive input. So I hope a uh, video such as this can uh, be educational for you and make you know that, they're, that you're, you're not crazy if you're around these kind of individuals. If you've not already done so, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. And then when that uh, bell comes up, hit that too. It won't ring, but it'll at least give you notifications. Uh, in addition, uh, if you uh, have the need for counseling, and you have somebody in your area that could help you out, I would encourage you to get counseling to see if you can unpack this. And if you don't have someone in your area, we have a sponsor who can help you out uh, with online counseling. And there's a whole field of individuals out there that are licensed professional counselors with experience. And we have a link below that can take you to that. Uh, and, and by the way, we have a membership now for our channel, uh, Striving Narcissism Team Healthy. And it's a very nominal fee and we have live feeds every week that Laura and I do and then uh, other extra videos and articles. Uh, check that out and see if you'd want to join that. We also have my uh, video workshop, Free to Be. Uh, it's talking about finding your, yourself in the midst of the controllers in your life. Our websites, Surviving Narcissism. Dot TV, uh, DrLesCarter.com. We also have webinars that are coming along every month, lots of resources. So uh, check it out below. Authoritarian people think that they know everything when in fact uh, they know very little about human relating. That being the case, I'm hoping you can take counsel from uh, people other than these individuals who don't do life well. And in doing so, commit yourself to a life of dignity, respect, and, and civility. That's what we stand for here on this channel.